Rob and Debbie Canton say they never expected to accumulate goats. They started by rescuing seven from a nearby high school. Now they have more than 100 of them. And these animals have become very special to them. Now the couple is using goats in a creative and influential way. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Thanota Sasa where art and animals aim to end human trafficking. That sound is inescapable on Rob and Debbie Canton's farm. Hi, what are we up to now? 160, 165? I'd have to do a head count. <laughs> Goats everywhere. No, they were just born um, at 930 this morning. <laughs> Over 160 roam the land here. Yeah, we love it. But it's the goats inside the yeah, barn the... that really have Rob yeah. excited. I, I see some amazing dedication and, and, uh, and passion by, by the artist. 55 gorgeous goats, each it's, totally uh, different. There's an image of a wolf on the one side, yet united in their mission. Yep, there's actually pictures on the bottom of this one of girls that were rescued from a life of, tra of being trafficked. I just can't even imagine uh, what they go through. I'll get upset talking about it. <laughs> Human trafficking is modern day slavery and often a taboo so, topic. It's something that a lot of people just don't want to talk about. Over a year ago, Rob got the idea to paint goats for charity. It grew into 55 artists painting 55 goats to be auctioned off at Super Bowl 55 in Tampa. All the money will be donated to organizations dedicated to fighting human trafficking. I'm touched that that many people are involved. Ron Francis is picking up a blank statue. The mission drew his attention. It goes pretty deep and it's global and apparently the Tampa Bay area is quite large in the human trafficking industry. This goat's name is Benjamin because um, it is all about the Benjamins. Rob even designed a goat himself. It's being about the money. Using global currency, a reminder that trafficking is a worldwide issue, one he's dedicated to fighting here at home. Rob says he wants to do it again next year uh, for the following year's um, Super Bowl. We'll have to see. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, but for a really good cause. Yeah. Rob says the word GOAT is also an acronym, which stands for Global Offensive Against Trafficking. The painted statues will be on display at Gasparilla Festival of the Arts coming up this weekend. The Cantons host goat yoga on the weekends. It's a fundraiser for their nonprofit, which is called Grady Goat Foundation, and that helps kids with disabilities. They are covering a lot of yeah, territory with their charity work.